today we're going to tie a big hurt, our maggot, our white thread jig, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a pattern that some people may scoff at a little bit and put it in the same category as a flesh fly or a blow ball, uh, something that uh, some fishermen may not uh, choose to use. The material for this fly is a gold shank 1 180th jig hook. It's been painted white using white potter paint. Uh, that seems to work a little better than some of the enamels and that it seems to be a little harder and hold a little bit more. We're going to use a Ural. This is 12 aught Ural. Um, 8 aught or less of any kind of thread white will work fine. The body is DMC yarn. Uh, there are six strands in a, each rope. This is numbered B5200. Of the six strands, we're only going to use four for our tie. We want to keep the body sparse. We don't want it too, too big. Um, the sparser it is, the better it seems to work. Okay, we're going to start our thread right above the barb. Although I pinched the barb down here, we're starting the thread at the place where the barb would be. Take five or six wraps. Cut off our tag in. Even up the ends of the four strands of the DMC. I'm going to make a pinch wrap right here to hold it in place. Make another loose wrap. I'm going to pull this DMC thread back, keeping tension on the thread as I pull. A couple more wraps, and then I'm going to bring my thread forward. Notice I, I looped it, uh, barber pulled it, uh, whatever you might want to call it, so that gold hook will show through when this thread gets wet. Okay, I'm going to wrap a single wrap, one right in front of the other. Here again, keeping the body sparse. Okay, once I get to the head of the jig, I make two or three wraps to hold it in place. I knock the hell out of it. Damn it. <coughs> Whip finish. And we have the thread jig. Very simple tie, yet very effective.